What should we pray? That's question 40 here in the New City Catechism. What should we pray? And here's the answer. The whole Word of God directs and inspires us in what we should pray, including the prayer of Jesus uh, himself taught us. Uh, kids answer, first the question, what should we pray? The kids answer, the whole Word of God directs us in what we should pray. Uh, here's the Bible reference. It's Ephesians uh, 3, 14 through 21. So, so quite a few verses there. I'm going to read those from the CSB translation. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21 says, For this reason I kneel before the Father from whom every family in heaven on earth is named. I pray that he may grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power in your inner being through his Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. I pray that you, being rooted and firmly established in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the length and width and height and depth of God's love, and to know Christ's love that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do above and beyond all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. What a prayer. I would encourage and challenge you to pray that over your family or, or pray that over uh, your friends or your loved ones or even your local church or make that a prayer for you to, to engage in prayer. As uh, the question is, what should we pray? And Ephesians three fourteen through 21 gives us a beautiful answer.